Hey everyone. Hey, I wanted to show everybody how I've been rigging my uh, my herring hole with the small herring we've been getting this year. Um, and this isn't a new thing. I've actually been rigging my herring hole for for uh, three years now, and uh, it's kind of funny how I I started doing it is because my wife, when we'd go fishing, uh, she just get frustrated, especially in like heavy currents if we were at the bay or or something like that, where we we're maybe at the jaws and those heavy currents would blow out the herring. And anyway, it just made it easier for her if I would rig herring hole for her. So I started rigging her rod hole with whole herring. And again, this was uh, three seasons ago. And I started rigging mine with a traditional plug cut. And uh, right off the bat, I know she was catching at least the same amount of fish as me. <laughs> I think actually a few more. And, uh, the, and the hookup ratio was awesome. And there was a couple benefits I was noticing. I'd see her rod get hit, and the fish would come back, and the fish would come back. And a lot of times with the with the cut plug herring, I'd see the fish hit, and then they don't come back. And I think we've all done it. We've all seen that, where the, the herring gets pulled off and it loses its spin, and, and uh you know, the fish might not want to take a shot at it because it's uh, just not doing the same action it was when they were chasing it. Where the whole herring stays pretty much rigged until the last minute. I mean, it you can get hit after hit after hit, and it still, it still won't come apart in most cases. Um, so her hookup ratio was better. Uh, so yeah, I even started doing it with springers. And, I, and, and what I noticed is I was still catching quite a few springers going with this whole herring rig and i do it in the ocean i've caught silvers i've caught kings doing it and it's just easy the bait lasts forever um and uh it's effective so as several of my friends want me to show them how to do this so i just kind of want to do it on a youtube video because i could share it with uh with them as well as somebody else who wants to learn how to bait their herring this way so so we'll start off with a herring um in my brine this is a real simple brine. It's just two cups of uh, water, one cup of non-iodized salt. Uh, the water I use is from my well here at the house. Um, you typically want to use a, uh, a little bottled water or something without chlorine in it, and then or river water. Uh, and then I put the UV shine, which is what gives it this blue look in there. And then uh, four or five uh, little drips of the, the Procure Pure Anise. Um, it's a brine I've been using for years. It it makes them nice and firm. So anyway, let me show you how to do this. Uh, these are uh, what I was using yesterday, so they're nice and firm now. So the first thing I do is I put my thumb right underneath the gill, and I put the hook right in the eye socket and underneath until it pops out the bottom of the gill, just like that. And the second one is identical. A lot of times I pop the eye, not a big deal. It doesn't matter. Um, then I'll bring my, uh, my first hook, uh, down to just about the, uh, the dorsal fin, go right below the lateral line just slightly and just underneath the, uh, meat there and bring it through. Um, real simple. And the back hook, I just let it dangle. Um, that's what usually gets some of that back one. Uh, I'll pull it tight here. Get you a little better look. We'll pull it tight, and then what I'll do is I'll put a half hitch around the nose. And you got to do this twice. If you don't do it twice, it'll want to come down. And this is how you set your your curve. So as I pull, you'll see my curve goes uh, goes up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, do another one, and just like that. And that and and pull pretty tight on that second one. I mean. I think if you've done plug cut herring, it's a very delicate, uh, you know, deal. This is, this is not, this is, you really want to winch it around the nose. As a matter of fact, you look at that nose. I've, I've heard this method called the bottle nose method. And you can see why they call it that. They, it really winches that nose down, but that's what it looks like when I'm done. And that's about as unorthodox <laughs> of a, uh, a plug cut guys, uh, it'll look complete. It looks completely different than what a, a plug cut herring looks like. And if you're a plug cut guy, this is going to drive you bananas because this spin, I wish I had the, it would have done a video in the water is fairly erratic. It's a fast spin. So with this amount of bend on it, which is a very 
common bend I use, it, it rotates super fast. And the rotation gives it that flash, flash, flash every time it rotates, just like a, a spinner. Um, and then some guys will cut the tail. I don't cut the tail. And again, if you're a plug cut guy, everybody likes that nice tight roll. You don't get that with this. You get this funky whip and fast rotation. And let me tell you, it, it works. It, you can fish this bait all day. Um, I've left these on three, four hours and caught a fish on them. Uh, they just don't blow out. And uh, and again, like I was saying earlier, that uh, when the fish hits, it doesn't come apart. Uh, and uh, you cut that fish might keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. So, so that's how it's done. I don't know the true name. I think I've heard the bottle nose method or something like that. But but that's how I do it. And uh, anyway, wishing y'all good luck. Have a good day fishing.